oh my god do y'all see this like my face is poreless like where where's my pore sis <laughs> where's my pore sis Welcome to Kaylin D TV. Welcome back to Kaylin TV. If you are stopping by my channel for the very first time, welcome. Hopefully you like what you see and you'll click that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be doing a video, uh, a talk through, get ready with me video using all the Fenty Beauty products. Um, I know everybody else has been making videos about Fenty Beauty, but I just want to, you know, try it. I am not really a makeup artist. I don't know how to do makeup. I know how to do my makeup to the best of my ability. So it's really just, you know, I'm your everyday girl who likes to play in makeup sometimes. And I want to show you how I feel and what I think about Fenty Beauty overall. So just to start off, I will tell you all what I purchased. Um, so I did purchase the... Um, foundation I purchased the matchstick trio um, in the tan color I purchased kilowatt but I didn't get it in uh, trophy wife because I felt like it was just too golden for me too yellow I feel like my skin just wouldn't look right with that so I got the trophy um so I got the kilowatt in girl next door and chic freak that's this and I got the lip gloss because I mean, come on. I never really spend money on makeup, y'all. Um, so when this came out, I was like, okay, I'm going to drop a cup, like a hundred on this. Like, I'm going to spend money on Fenty because it's Fenty. Um, so I will just start applying the makeup and I'll tell y'all what I think. Now, if you can see, I look very oily because I'm dry. So I moisturize with um, Argon oil and it's been doing my skin very well. But I'm going to mix some primer with um some CeraVe lotion um because this is a mattifying foundation so I just want to make sure that my skin is moisturized even though like I said I already have um oil on my face the primer that I use is by uh Smashbox it's a photo finish foundation primer um and it's pore minimizing I use pore minimizing because I feel like I have large pores so i just want them to look smaller so that's the primer that i use y'all see i did not buy the primer by fenty because i i'm i'm your everyday girl i don't make money like that um and quite frankly i just don't have it like that to um spend on primer okay so we'll start with the Fenty foundation. Now I will say I thought this looked small when I saw it on Instagram and everything, but it's actually pretty big. Um, and I looked at the ounces and um, it's 1.8 full ounces. I swear by MAC Face and Body. And I'm almost certain that MAC Face and Body is like 1.7 ounces. I don't know for sure. But um, this is 1.8 if that's what I said. Yeah, 1.8. I'm going to start with using it with a beauty blender. This is not a real beauty blender, I know. Um, but I'm going to use it and I'm put it on with the beauty blender and then I'm going to follow it up with a foundation brush. Now, I will tell y'all, I was very nervous about getting this foundation because I did not think it was going to match with my... Um, with my complexion um i am neutral undertone but i feel like i have like a lot of yellow in me too um but right now i have a tan so it's hard to know what my actual color is i think probably in the winter i'll be 370 but for now um i tried both 370 and 380 um and 380 matched my skin better 370 made me look too yellow and gray so um for all my melanated girls if you have a tan right now 
it'll probably be best. You'll probably have to get another shade um, once you tangles away. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I usually don't wear um, matte foundation because, like I told you, I am very dry. So, we'll see how this goes. Like, I told you my favorite um, foundation is by MAC and it's the face and body which is very dewy. So this is the first layer and just like a lot of people say it's not very heavy you know you definitely can build up so I'm going to do another layer um, and I'm going to um, do it right off the brush. I have some extra so I'm just going to put it on my face. It's very, I don't know how to explain it. It gives me a nice, it gives me velvet tees. Um, I feel like this, it's like very velvety. Like the look is coming off very velvety and like airbrush tees. I don't know if it shows like that on the camera, but um, I like it. This is like my second layer. Let me see. I'm just going to do one more layer. One more. Because if I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show y'all. So, I really like to focus around this area because that's where my discoloration is. So. Okay. Okay. Give me velvet tees, bitch. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling the coverage. I really am. But it's not. I, I get like, I keep saying velvet tees, I have like this nice smooth velvety feel, but it's not too heavy, you know, um, and I love MAC, but like the reason why I don't wear Studio Fix that, um, why, the reason why I don't wear Studio Fix is because sometimes I feel like Studio Fix is too heavy, um, but I don't get that from Fenty, I'm feeling, I'm just feeling regular velvet tees, I don't know how else I can say it. <laughs> So I got the Matchstick Trio. This was 58, I think. It was 50 something. Um, Y'all probably already saw it. It comes together. It sticks together. Magnetic. <laughs> it's so precious. Um, and I, again, I got the Trio in tan. So I have um, a caramel. I have a truffle. And I have a rum. So I believe... Ooh, this is pretty. It's like glossy. Y'all see that? Um, so I'm gonna start with the highlighter. And I don't know if I was supposed to put powder on before or not, but listen, this is what I'm gonna do. Ooh, ooh, I'm scared. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. Okay, so. Okay. So this is giving me velvet tees too. It's going on very velvety. Okay, okay. Now I've never used anything like this. I always use like a wet liquidy highlighter um con concealer rather so uh this is definitely not wet and I saw on YouTube that they said it dries fast and it definitely dries fast but ooh, I like it I really can't compare this to any other highlighting sticks because, like I said, I never used it, but it went on very smooth. It was thick. The consistency was really thick. Um, so it didn't feel, like, wet or milky like I thought it would feel. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more on there. I'm actually going to go one eye at a time because I saw on another tutorial that it's best that you go one eye at a time. Because it dries kind of fast. Okay, okay! So, I have on the highlighter. Um, I'm actually going to... Just put a little bit on my forehead. 
not too much. Ooh, 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 okay. Tribal tees. And then I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm really liking how the foundation set. Like, it's really airbrushed velvet tees. I'm really loving this airbrushed look that I'm getting from the foundation. Like, where where's my pore, sis? <laughs> Where's my pores, sis? Now, I'm going to contour. Like I said, some of the YouTubers did this after they um, set their foundation. I'm not doing that because that's just not how I, I do my foundation, do my makeup. So, if I'm doing it wrong, sue me. So, woo, I'm scared. Okay. Okay. Subtle. Subtle, subtle, subtle. Okay, subtle. I like how it feels, y'all. It feels like a crayon. Like, like you know how sometimes crayons are dry? And, um, like, be, like, you know how, like, when you get a dried out crayon? That's how I feel. It feels like a dried out crayon. It's not too wet and milky. And I like that about it. Now, I, I'm still learning how to contour. I always go too heavy on my contour, so I'm scared. But this, this, this is good. This gives you a light, like you can build up on it. Like you don't have to, you, you can just build up on it. You don't like, if you do one streak, you're not going to be like fucked. Like you're, you have some room to, to uh, operate. So I'm going to go in and do a little bit more of a harsher contour just because I can. I think this is a perfect contour color for my skin complexion. It's not too dark. So if you have my complexion, um, I definitely think this is a great contour color. It's a cool color. It's not really um, dark. It's not really like chocolatey brown, if that makes any sense. Um, it's more of a cooler brown, and I like that. And again, I'm just trying. Um, I've never really used sticks like this when doing makeup. Um, I've always used like a powder uh, bronzer. So I'm actually going to try to do like the whole forehead thing because my forehead is big. And um, I'm just going to try to put a little contour around my forehead. I'm really liking the product. I'm not even lying. Like, I'm okay, I'm not a Rihanna stand like a lot of people. So when I'm giving you this review, it's not just because I love Rihanna. Um, it's because I actually like the product. I only stand for Beyonce and Jasmine Sullivan. <laughs> so if you like either one, I mean everybody loves Beyonce, but if y'all like Jasmine Sullivan, like click that like button and tell me what y'all favorite song by Jasmine is. Um, okay, so my face is warmed up. Y'all, I'm feeling this. Okay, so I'm going to set with my own powder. Um, I didn't buy the, the blotting powder by Rihanna. So I'm setting with, um, the Maybelline Fit Me in deep fonts. It's a translucent powder, but it has a, okay, it's not a translucent powder because it's not translucent. It has a little color to it, but it doesn't show up on your face that much. Oh my god. Do y'all see this? Like, my face is poreless. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. Let me know in the comments if y'all have purchased Fenty yet. Um, what are your thoughts on it? Do you think it is overrated? Do you think people are making a big deal about it because it's Rihanna? Like, let me know what y'all think. I personally... I think the products are good like I'm a Maybelline kind of person um I usually either wear fit me or I wear uh, Mac face and body like I said so um for me to just jump out the gate and try a whole product 
um, by somebody who's never made makeup before. It's a, it takes a lot for me to do that. And I'm not, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly. So. Okay, so here is the last matchstick. This is in rum. And I'm going to highlight with that. My favorite part. Okay. So again, it's giving me, um... Dry crayon tees. It's not really wet and milky. It's it's dry. Like it goes on dry. So I can see how they say you can use these products after you um after you've already set your makeup. Oh my god. Woo! This is beautiful. This is pretty, y'all. Oh, I don't want to go over. I don't want to go overboard, but I love it. Okay. Well. Okay. Um, I want to put some on my nose, but I don't want to go too crazy, so I'm just gonna. Well. So I just applied um, rum and I love it. I really could just go out with this face, um, but I also have the Kilowatt highlighter, so I'm going to use that too. This is the Kilowatt highlighter that I bought. I bought it in, woo, I bought it in um, Chic Freak and Girl Next Door. I swatched all the highlighters and I wanted to get the one that best fit my skin. And although Trophy Wife was beautiful, don't get me wrong, it was beautiful, I just didn't feel like I could see myself with that yellow highlighter. It's very yellow and very pigmented. If I were to use Trophy Wife, it would probably be for my eyes. Um, but because, like, I don't really wear eye makeup like that, I didn't want to get it. And like I said, it's just too yellow. It's very yellow. Um, I feel like if you have a deeper skin tone, it would probably probably look good on you but I don't know I just feel like it was too yellow on me so I'm gonna highlight with this um I'm probably just gonna start out with this one almost like a blush and then highlight with this one this right here is girl next door so I'm gonna use this as my as my blush Ooh. Okay, so this is too light for a blush. Mm -mm, I gotta wipe some of this off. So as y'all saw, that was too light for a blush. So I'm going to wipe it off. I did not realize how light this is. Look at it. If you want your highlight to glow, bitch, you need to put that on. Okay, so I'm gonna try to wipe it off. Yikes. Ooh. Told y'all I didn't know what I was doing. Mm. Okay, so um, yeah, that's what happens. Like it was too light. All right, so this comes with a mirror, so I'm just gonna use the mirror on here. Um, I'm using Chic Freak now. I'm not using whoa. I'm not using Girl Next Door. Um, I'm gonna use Chic Freak and see what that looks like. Oh my God, that's pretty. Okay, so this has like a rose gold feel. Oh my goodness. This gives me... Y'all, this is the cheapest... Don't get this brush. This is a cheap ass fan brush that I got from e.l.f. And it's cheap. But I don't have another fan brush, so... But this is pretty. See, I just feel like that goes better with my skin than Trophy Wife. Y'all let me know. If anybody who is around my complexion and has trophy wife let me know what y'all think about it but personally i just feel like it's too yellow okay oh my gosh this highlight is blinding me okay so let me just um blend this out it looks so dramatic on camera Okay, I'm blending this side out. Oh 
okay i really could go a little harder but i feel this is the first time film this is my first time filming with a ring light so i don't want to go harder with my um, my highlight and then i actually look like a clown um because it's looking like i could go a little more dramatic but i don't want to go that dramatic so um i'm actually i saw this on shameless maya's chance let me know if y'all channel let me know if y'all watch shameless maya but um I keep picking up the wrong ones. I'm going to put some rum on my eyes. Because it just looks so pretty when she did it. Ooh. So it's very subtle. Um, but it is, it's definitely pretty. So the last thing I bought was the lip gloss um it's very universal i wore the lip gloss already uh it's very smooth it also gives me velvet tees i don't know what it is about fenty but it gives me velvet um and it's just i, I like it it's worth 18 dollars again i'm cheap i don't have a whole lot of money but i will spend um 18 dollars for this again so mmm Alright y'all, so this is my final look with Fenty Beauty. Um, I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I feel like I'm just like glowing. Um, overall, I would say I like it. Like, I definitely like it. It's beginner friendly. Um, y'all saw me, I had some mix-ups when it came to the kilowatt. But like, when it comes to the application, the contour, I felt like if you made a mistake with the contour, you could always fix it. This highlight on my nose is so dramatic. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I feel like you, if you make a mistake, you can fix it. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I feel like if it was really thick and creamy, it'll probably be harder for you to fix it up when you're contouring or when you're highlighting. I feel like it's worth the money. It's worth the money. You get quality products. Um, and, uh, yeah, I would definitely be using it more often. I'm beginning to like like this matte face like I said usually I'm very dewy but I like this matte look so y'all let me know what y'all think about it let me know what um color foundation y'all are did y'all have a hard time finding your shade like how I did I did not know if I was 370 or 380 um let me know what y'all think about Fenty overall um and hopefully you like this video and hopefully you can get you some Fenty too because you deserve it boo thanks again for watching my channel y'all Peace.